everyone, myself Dr. Roma Ghai, Associate Professor from Kai School of Pharmacy, Kai Group of Institutions would like to tell you on the topic passive surveillance. Now, this particular topic belongs to the, to belongs to the subject pharmacovigilance PP805ET final year subject. So, let us start. Now, the ADL monitoring that is the adverse drug reaction monitoring of a pharmaceutical drugs or maybe monitoring of vaccines, it can be done through two ways. One is passive surveillance, second one is active surveillance. So, we monitor some areas, any drug or vaccine can produce adverse reaction, but how does the monitoring do it? Passive surveillance and active surveillance. But my topic will be focusing on passive surveillance in this video. So, passive surveillance, passive means what is passive? No active measures are being taken to look for adverse effects other than the encouragement of healthcare professionals and others to report safety concerns. The passive ka matlab koi active efforts nahi kare ja rahe, koi active tarikhe se data nahi liya ja rahe, koi active efforts nahi ki ja rahe ki adverse effects ho dekha jaye, sirf kis pe depend kar rahe, hum doctors pe depend kar rahe. Doctors apni marzi se report kare ya na kare, koi particular patient mein koi harmful effect dekha gaya hai medicine ki wajah se, तो डॉक्टर के विल के ऊपर है अपनी मर्जी के ऊपर है कि वो रिपोर्ट करें या ना करें सो पैसिव सर्वेलेंस तो स्पॉन्टेनियस और वॉलेंट्री रिपोर्टिंग इज अ टाइप ऑफ पैसिव सर्वेलेंस वेयर इज एक्टिव सर्वेलेंस एक्टिव सर्वेलेंस मींस इट रिक्वायर्स अ कंटीन्यूअस प्री ऑर्गेनाइज्ड प्रोसेस सो इट रिक्वायर्स एक प्रोसेस है जो एक ऑर्गेनाइज्ड ऑलरेडी दैट मींस द हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट इज प्रोएक्टिव हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट इज प्रोएक्टिव it is contacting the healthcare providers, it is contacting the labs and taking the information from them. That is proactive process. So, that comes under active surveillance. That means active measures are taken to procure the information from the healthcare professionals about the adverse drug reactions. It seeks to ascertain completely the number of adverse events via continuous pre-organized process. For example, active surveillance that means follow up of patients treated with a particular medicine product as it is done in cohort event monitoring. So, uh, cohort event monitoring will be taken in my next video of active surveillance. Coming to the passive surveillance. Now, in passive surveillance, the first method is spontaneous reporting system. It is a system to monitor the safety of all medicines on the market. So, there is a voluntary, please remember this word, voluntary, apni marzi se, voluntary submission of ICSR. Full form is individual case safety report. So, voluntary submission of ICSR by health professionals or by pharmaceutical manufacturer and patients to National Pharmacovigilance Center comes under spontaneous reporting system. But this system may voluntarily report, uh, health professional report karte hai, manufacturers karte hai voluntarily, apni marzi se. So, simple words, a spontaneous report is an unsolicited communication, unsolicited matlab jo hum poosh nahi rahe hai. It is unsolicited, which is, which we are not soliciting communication by healthcare professional or consumer or a pharmacy company to NCC. NCC means National Coordination Center or other organization like CDSCO that is Central Drug Standard Control Organization or AMC that is the Area Monitoring Center. So, this report is a communication to National Coordination Center, to CDSCO, to Area Monitoring Center which is describing one or more suspected ADR in a patient given a medicinal product, which is product mila hai aur usne AD, usme ADR dekha gaya hai. So, it defines one or more adverse drug reactions in a patient who was given one or more medicinal products. So, now spontaneous report has been given the name of ICSR, individual case safety report. I have already given one full video on ICSR. Now, this method was developed in 1960s in response to the thalidomide tragedy. We all know the thalidomide tra tragedy because it is already told in my video that thalidomide was given to pregnant women and these pregnant uh, uh, women gave delivery to such small infants which who were without limbs. Unke limbs nahi develop hue. So, this method was developed in 1960s in response to thalidomide tragedy and is now well established method throughout the developed world and some development developing countries. It is regarded as cornerstone of ADR monitoring and the main purpose is to detect signals of previously unrecognized hazards. 
drug toxicity. So, it is helping in hypothesis generation. Now, spontaneous pharmacovigilance system is actually a form of passive pharmac uh, passive uh, surveillance. Then, formal pharmacoepidemic studies are then used to investigate and characterize serious possible areas that is hypothesis testing. The hypothesis generation con kar raha hai? spontaneous supporting system or hypothesis testing con karega pharmacoepidemiological methods like case studies, case control studies, cohort studies, jo mein aapko next video mein bataungi. So, spontaneous supporting system can alert a company towards rare adverse events that were not noticed in clinical trials or other pre-marketing studies. Now, this is the potential to capture rare unexpected adverse reactions more quickly than other study designs. They can provide information at on at risk groups ki kaun se aise groups hain jin ko mein ADR dekha ja raha hai, kya risk factors hain, kya clinical features of serious ADRs. So, all these cases jitne bhi ICSRs mil rahe hain hamar national coordination center ko, they are entered to safety database that is called VGE base. So, VGE base mein sara data enter kiya ja raha hai which is examined individually and please remember this is going to safety database VG base and VG base is being controlled by this is controlled by WHO collaborating center. I have written here VG base is maintained international by Uppsala monitoring center Sweden supported by WHO. So, the, the cases are entered examined they are aggregated and then they are identified for cluster reports as it reports hain usi se hame kya milta hai? signal. Signal means new information, new about the drug, unknown adverse effect of the drug. As you can see here, the report is given data entry, it is given the data base, VG base, isi data ko coding kiya jata hai, assess kiya jata hai, signal detect kiya jata hai. Ab isko coding kaise ki jati hai? Standard drug dictionaries should be used for coding in particular MEDRA. MEDRA is what? Medical dictionary for drug regulatory affairs. This is now the international standard medical terminology and uh, VG base may uh, it's our coded data um, it is maintained. Doctors, healthcare professionals like pharmacists, nurses okay. now uh, who are uh, provided with suspected ADR reporting forms for filling the details of suspected ADRs experienced by the patient along with details of suspected medication, patient details and details of the doctor. Simple words, jitne bhi healthcare professionals hai, theek hai, unko forms diye jate hai. In fact, they can download, download from the IPC website, area reporting forms diye jate hai. Aur ye area reporting forms hai, aur in reporting forms mein kya hum details daalte hai? Hum patient ke details daalte hai, about suspected medication, about the patient details, about the details of the doctor. In India, the form which is used for spontaneous reporting is known as suspected ADR reporting form which is a red form and it is generated by CDSCO and which is working under the aegis of Director General of Health Services, Government of India. I will just show you the form. Can you all see the form suspected adverse drug reaction form reporting form? Here it means voluntary reporting of ADRs by healthcare professional. Then there is another form that is called medicine side effect reporting form that is mainly for consumers because consumer to yehi kehta hai na ki mujhe is drug se side effect hua. To yeh side effect reporting form hai. To consumer ko blue form bharna chahiye aur jo doctors hai unko red form bharna chahiye agar usko patient mein koi bhi harmful effect nazar aata hai drug ki wajah se. In the UK the form used for spontaneous reporting is known as yellow card. Please remember this yellow card system is followed. In US Medforge form is used. Okay. We have form FDA 3500B voluntary reporting. Voluntary means apni marzi se jo reporting hoti hai, wo is particular form mein reporting hoti hai, wo are used by healthcare professionals, consumers and patients. But there is form FDA 3500A that is mandatory reporting. The spontaneous reporting mein zaad reports kahan se aati hai, mein industry se aati hai. Okay. For use by industry reporters, manufacturers, distributors, importers as well as use of facilities personal. Ab in uh, reforms hai, us pe kaunsa theorem lagaya jata hai? Bayesian theorem lagaya jata hai. It is used in statistical analysis of ADRs. So, spontaneous reporting system heavily relies on pharmaceutical manufacturers. Uh, please uh, note it down ki basically kya hota hai ki jab 
اپنی مرضی سے سے کوئی رپورٹ لکھنی ہے وہ بھی میڈیسنس کے اگینسٹ تو اوبویسلی ڈاکٹرس نہیں ڈاکٹر کئی ڈاکٹرس نہیں لکھتے ہیں کئی بار جو جو ہیلتھ کے پروفیشنلس ہیں دے ڈو ناٹ رائٹ سو دین اسپانٹیز رپورٹنگ سسٹم کس پہ ڈپینڈ کرتا ہے مینلی مینوفیکچرس بیکاز مینوفیکچرس کو مینڈیٹلی رپورٹ کرنا ہی کرنا ہے گورنمنٹ کو سو ہیولی ریلائز آن فارمسٹیکل مینوفیکچرس اینڈ فارمسٹیکل مینوفیکچرس لیگلی باؤنڈیڈ اٹس لیگلی ریکوائرڈ ٹو رپورٹ سیریس ان لیبلڈ ایڈورس ریئیکشنس ٹو دا ایف ڈی اے ود ان ففٹین ورکنگ ڈیز اور ایز پر دا ایپلیکیبل ریگولیٹری پروسیجرس آفٹر لرننگ دیٹ سم ایڈیا ریز اکرڈ ان دا پیشنٹ ان اے پیشنٹ اپروکسیمیٹلی ایٹی پرسینٹ اسپانڈنس رپورٹس دے آر کمنگ فرام دی ڈرگ کمپنیز ٹو ایف ڈی اے واٹ آر دا ایڈوانٹیجز وی گیٹ دی انفارمیشن کہ کن لوگوں میں یہ پرٹیکولر پرابلم ہو رہی ہے ایٹ ریسک گروپس جس کو ہم بولتے ہیں ایٹ ریسک گروپس کون سے گروپس ہیں جن میں ایڈورس ریئیکشنس دیکھے گئے ہیں بائی ود اے ڈرگ بائی میڈیسن رسک فیکٹرز اٹ پرووائڈ انفارمیشن اباؤٹ کلینیکل فیچرس آف نان سیریس ایریاز اٹ کورز دا ہول پاپولیشن اٹ ڈز ناٹ لمٹ مانٹرنگ ٹو سم اسپیسیفک پیشنٹ گروپس لو سیٹ اپ کاسٹ صرف ایک فارم ہی تو بھرنا ہے انکلوڈس آل میڈیسنس دس کانٹینیول مانٹرنگ تھرو آؤٹ لائف سائیکل آف اے میڈیسن اٹ ڈیٹیکٹ سگنلس آف ریئر اور سیریس ایریاز It can alert a company towards its rare adverse events that were not noticed during clinical trials or pre-marketing studies. Easiest method to establish, least labor intensive, relatively inexpensive. But what are disadvantages? See, we do not know ki actual areas kitne logo mein hua hai. So unable to quantify the risk due to non-availability of denominator. Denominator means total humko nahi pata kitne logo ko medicines dee gai. تو ہم کو یہ ڈنامیٹر نہیں پتا رائٹ سو وی آر ان ایبل ٹو کوانٹیفائی دا رسک انڈر رپورٹنگ میں نے جیسے بتایا کافی سارے ڈاکٹرز رپورٹ ہی نہیں کرتے سو ڈاٹا از انکمپلیٹ ایم سوری فار دا اسپیلنگ انکمپلیٹ آل ایڈیاز آر ناٹ رپورٹیڈ اونلی فیو آر رپورٹیڈ رپورٹنگ بائس از دیئر مرضی ہے کس طرح سے رپورٹ کریں گے ہیلتھ کے پروفیشنل کے اوپر اپنی مرضی ہے لیک آف ڈنامیٹر از دیئر ان ایبل ٹو ایکورٹلی اسیس دا رسک Poor at detecting the delayed ADRs, deaths are poorly reported. Koi particular drug se agar koi death ho jaye, medicine se death ho jaye, to kahi baar wo report to ki hi nahi jaati. ठीक है? एक example मैं आपको बता रही हूँ ये spontaneous reporting system का एक ADRs निकला था. Lactic associate acidosis associated with bicarbonate metformin was identified through the spontaneous reporting system. اب ڈریکس پانٹیا سپورٹنگ کو ہی اب اگر ہم تھوڑا سا اور انٹینسیفائی کرتے ہیں تو کیا ہو جائے گا انٹینسیفائڈ اسپانٹیز مانٹرنگ ٹو انہانس ایریا رپورٹنگ آف اسپیسیفک میڈیسنس اور یہ کب ہوتا ہے ارلی پوسٹ مارکیٹنگ فیز دیٹ مینس دا ڈرگ از جسٹ لانچ دا مارکیٹ سو اٹ سمپلی دا ایکسٹینشن تو کس کے لیے فالو کیا جاتا ہے فار نیو ڈرگس فار بایولوجیکل میڈیسنس فار دوز میڈیسنس وچ آر گیون کنڈیشنل اپروول اور اپروو میڈیسنس انڈر ایکسیپشنل کیسز تو کسی کسی ڈرگ کو بیسیکلی ہم کوئی کنڈیشن وے میں اپروو کیا جاتا ہے کہ یہ ڈرگ صرف اس پرٹیکولر کیس میں دیا جائے گا اور کسی کیس میں نہیں دیا جائے گا ٹھیک ہے میڈیسن دیٹ ریکوائر ایڈیشنل اسٹڈیز جہاں میں لگتا ہے جو جہاں پر ایڈیشنل اسٹڈیز اور ہونے چاہیے یعنی کہ دیو آر سم ریئر سائڈ افیکٹس وچ آبزرو ڈیورنگ کلینیکل ٹرائلس تو ان کے لیے ہمیں کیا کرنا پڑتا ہے انٹینسیفائڈ اسپانڈیز رپورٹنگ اور پلیز ممبر بلیک انورٹیڈ ٹرائنگل اسکیم از یوز ان دس Please remember for vaccines in UK, this black triangle, it is in black in color, it is UK, uh, this is used in the, especially in UK, right, for all type of COVID vaccines, especially COVID shield vaccine, right. It does not cover all medicines, so that is a drawback. Example of this is monitoring of antiretroviral medicines. So, just be medicine ke upar, ye vaccine ke upar, ye particular black triangle hai, that means subjected to additional monitoring. بیکاز اینٹی ریٹروائل میڈیسنس کے ساتھ بہت سائڈ افیکٹس نکلے تھے تو اس لیے اس پہ بیسکلی ایک وہ لگایا گیا بلیک ٹرائنگل وٹ آر دا پروس ان کانس پروس مینز ایڈوانٹیجز کانس مین ڈس ایڈوانٹیجز پروس کیا ہے اٹ کورز دا ہول پاپولیشن اٹ اٹیک سگنلس آف نیو ریئر اور سیریس ایریاز موسٹ کاملی یوز ریلیٹیولی ان ایکسپینسو لیس لیبر انٹینسو بٹ کانس اگین وہی پرابلم ہے رپورٹنگ نہیں ہوتی ہے رپورٹنگ بائسز دیئر ڈیفیکلٹ ٹو ڈیٹیکٹ دا ڈیلیڈ ایریاز نیکسٹ ٹائپ آف پیسز سرولینس میتھڈ از کیس رپورٹ اینڈ کیس سیریز وین از اے کیس رپورٹ کیس رپورٹ مطلب کوئی ڈرگ کی وجہ سے ایک پرٹیکولر 
uh, adverse symptoms aaye hain it is a detailed report of symptoms signs diagnosis treatment and follow up of an individual patient so case report is only meant for one patient it describes the outcome or experience of person who has been given a particular drug to ek drug ke sath jo usne experience kiya hai that has become the case report these reports help in again generating hypothesis about the effects of the drug and may lead to further studies to test the hypothesis agar yahi case report series mein aa rahi hai to hum usko bolte hain case series right agar ek ke baad ek reports aa rahi hain to hum usko bolte hain case series to case series hum ek thoda sa sign de deti hai ki there is some association between the medicine and adverse event it can provide evidence of association between a drug and adverse event बट दीज अगेन यू शूड जनरेटिंग हाइपोथेसिस जब तक हम टेस्ट नहीं करेंगे तब हमें नहीं पता चलेगा कि एक्चुअल ये ड्रग एडवर्स इवेंट प्रोड्यूस कर रहा है दे आर सर्टन डिस्टिंक्ट एडवर्स इवेंट्स नोन टू बी एसोसिएटेड फ्रीक्वेंटली विद ड्रग थेरेपी एग्जाम्पल्स आर एनाफेलेक्सिस टॉक्सिक एपिडामल नेक्रोलाइसिस स्टीवन जॉनसन सिंड्रोम लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड विद हेल्प पिक्चर्स आप देखिए स्किन पीलिंग है स्किन पीलिंग में क्या है टॉक्सिक एपिडामल नेक्रोलाइसिस necrolysis means the cell is broken down the skin peeling is there blistering is there theek hai ye particular agar is tarah ki report aati hai ek drug ki wajah se theek hai to ye serious report mein khela jati hai similarly steven johnson syndrome you can see all red 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 right a physician sees a patient diagnose a disease initiate a case report after contacting the local health department and provide them the whole details so that is becomes a case report aur agar is tarah ke reports bar bar aa rahi hain that becomes a case series to hame pata chal raha hai adr we are collection of adrs so pharmacogen centers place emphasis on these reports for detailed and rapid follow up so case report case series are highly sensitive for detecting any novel novel type of adr they remain one of the cornerstone of medical progress Now another thing I want to tell you about Nicolau syndrome. Please remember the syndrome. This has happened with intramuscular injection in the with the single dose diclofenac sodium injection, which is normally used to treat a headache. So headache is liye diya gaya or Nicolau syndrome hua. I'll show you the photo. You can go through this particular uh, topic PMC. This called PMC, the PubMed article, and you can see the details. And uh, here is the details. recurrent nicolau syndrome associated with subcutaneous injection similarly with the uh, nicolau syndrome has also occurred with diclofenac injection so diclofenac injection needs to be very very carefully given next type of spontaneous supporting as uh, next uh, uh, this uh, spontaneous supporting is targeted spontaneous supporting again a type of passive surveillance please remember target target mean what it is focusing adrs in a well defined group of patients on treatment and it also focuses on specific drug of interest specific population of interest and specific area to sab jagah target hai ek it uh, intensified adr reporting within a defined cohort is also called targeted spot reporting so health professional in charge of the patient they are sensitized to report specific safety concerns This method ensures that the patients are monitored and that ADRs are reported as a normal component of routine patient monitoring and standard care. मतलब patient को report करना है किसी भी तरह का harmful effect आए drug की वजह से तो उसको बताना है अपने doctor को और doctor को भी report करना चाहिए. This is a focused approach has the same objectives uses the same flow of information just like spontaneous reporting. Reporting again has no active measures. you can see here specific adrs specific patients specific medicines so let's see one by one first of all we take a specific population then we take a specific clinic from that we take specific medicine which is given to specific population then we collect all adrs and then then we go to specific adr so you can see this article was there target responders reporting of suspected renal toxicity in patient undergoing highly active antiretroviral therapy इन टू पब्लिक हेल्थ फैसिलिटीज इन यूगेंडा तो टारगेट रिपोर्टिंग कैसे होती है देख लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड सपोज इस पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल के लिए स्पेसिफिक पॉपुलेशन क्या लिया गया पेशेंट विथ एच आई वी इंफेक्शन स्पेसिफिक क्लिनिक दो तरह के क्लिनिक्स को चूज कर लिया गया स्पेसिफिक मेडिसिन टीनोफेर विच इज एन एंटी रेट्रोवायरल वॉज चोजन ठीक है 
तो स्पेसिफिक मेडिसिन वस्टिनो फिर देन ऑल एरियाज वर कलेक्टेड स्पेसिफिक एरिया रीनल टॉक्सिसिटी वॉज कलेक्टेड सो दिस बाउंड्री हेल्प टू डेवलप अ प्रोफाइल ऑफ एरियाज ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक मेडिसिन इन अ स्पेसिफिक पॉपुलेशन सो दैट्स कॉल्ड टारगेटेड स्पॉन्टेनियस रिपोर्टिंग एडवांटेज क्या है इट कैन यूटिलाइज द एग्जिस्टिंग एरिया रिपोर्टिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एरिया फॉर्म सिंपल भरना है राइट right? सिंपल हमने सिर्फ क्या करना है वी आर टारगेटिंग सपोज आई एम डूइंग दिस पॉन्टेन दिस टारगेटिंग रिपोर्टिंग I have to go to a I have to uh, go to a doctor, and then from that doctor I have to see which patients he is treating, maybe elderly treating, and then I have to collect the reports from them, right? So advantage of TSR utilizes existing area reporting infrastructure. The forms are given to the doctor. It targets specific medicines of interest. Possible to implement monitoring program that targets specific issue of concern, like ADR, medicines, patient group. it captures useful information right less background noise denominator is known we have because since it is basically total number of patients in a clinic who are given a drug we know the denominator here but disadvantage is what under reporting depends a problem it depends on doctor to tell or not it captures only suspected areas or known toxicities right not unknown toxicities it may limit reporting to only specific areas it relies on the diagnostic ability of reporter agar doctor diagnose kar payega tabhi wo report karega nahi to nahi kar payega so let's see the difference in spontaneous reporting the, the monitoring is taken place taking place around the all medicines around till the whole life cycle of the product population here is all exposed individuals but denominator is unknown reporting is done for all areas intensified area reporting involves specific medicines all individuals exposed individuals but here also denominator is unknown here also all data is be collected all areas are collected target reporting it is basically for specific medicines like tenofovir it is for defined cohort we are also collecting the data of all areas as well as as well as specific area so ye jo basically different the different forms of passive pharmacovigilance hai now last week come to stability reporting again uh, after this passive pharmacovigilance uh, different methods spontaneous reporting intensified and then we have target reporting next we have the stability reporting where methods have several methods have been used to encourage facilitated reporting by health professionals in specific situations like in hospital in hospital uh, settings for new products or for limited time period is limited time period ke liye kiya jata hai theek hai so stimulated matlab the reports which have been motivated which have been prompted by uh, from a doctor solicited induced okay such as notification by healthcare professional communication koi uh, letter aaya hai doctor ke paas the doctor ko report karna hai public advisory hai literature report se dekha gaya hai questioning of healthcare professionals by mah representative when we say mah marketing authorization होल्डर रिप्रेजेंटेटिव जिनको हम बेसिकली कंपनी रिप्रेजेंटेटिव कहते हैं जो क्वेश्चन करते हैं हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल्स को राइट सच रिपोर्टिंग इंक्लूड ऑनलाइन रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ एडवर्स इवेंट्स एंड सिस्टमैटिक स्टिमुलेशन ऑफ रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ एडवर्स इवेंट्स बेस्ड ऑन प्री डिजाइन मेथड तो पैसिव के बाद हम बेसिकली आते हैं स्टिमुलेटेड रिपोर्टिंग में और उसके बाद हम आएंगे एक्टिव सर्वेलेंस में सो ड्यूरिंग अर्ली पोस्ट मार्केटिंग फेज दिस इज डन स्टिमुलेटेड रिपोर्टिंग that means the companies the pharmaceutical companies actively provide health professionals with safety information puri information di jati hai doctors ko at the same time encourage cautious use of new products ye bhi bola jata hai doctors ko ki in products ko ye new products hain jo aapko use karne hain apne patients mein aur koi bhi isse dikkat aaye to wo report honi chahiye right and submission of spontaneous reports if an adverse event is identified सो स्टिमुलेटेड रिपोर्टिंग के लिए एक प्लान बनाया जाता है अ प्लान कैन बी डेवलप बिफोर द प्रोडक्ट इज लॉन्च थ्रू साइट विजिट्स बाई कंपनी रिप्रेजेंटेटिव बाई डायरेक्ट मेलिंग्स टू द डॉक्टर्स बाई फैक्सेज सो इट इज इट अक्टर्स इन अर्ली पोस्ट मार्केटिंग फेज इट कैन नीड कंपनीज टू नोटिफाई देल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल ऑफ न्यू थेरेपीज प्रोवाइड सेफ्टी इंफॉर्मेशन अर्ली इन यूज बाय द जनरल पॉपुलेशन एंड डेटा ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम दिस रिपोर्टिंग ओके now data from this reporting this is a drawback of this cannot used to generate accurate incident rates hum nahi find out kar sakte ki kitna incidence hai 
उस पर्टिकुलर एडवर्समेंट का बट कैन बी यूज टू एस्टिमेट रिपोर्टिंग रेट्स थोड़ा सा हम थोड़ा सा हम बता सकते हैं कितना कितना रिपोर्टिंग हो रही है डिसएडवांटेज इज देयर इट्स सेम एज पॉन्टे रिपोर्ट सेलेक्टिव रिपोर्टिंग एंड इनकम्प्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज देयर सो दीज आर द रेफरेंसेस फ्रॉम वेयर बेसिकली आई हैव टेकन द डाटा एंड यू कैन गो थ्रू दीज रेफरेंसेस एंड थैंक यू ऑल फॉर पेशेंट लिस्निंग Uh, i hope uh, you will be able to understand what is the different methods of passive surveillance what is and then what is stimulated reporting thank you all